Awesome. So thank you so much for esteemed uh, judges and the coaches. I appreciate your time very much. And I, I should I say good morning since you're having a breakfast. <laughs> so you know, I hope you feel that. Good morning, everybody loves good morning. So I am the, let me go to the first slide. I may not have the, exactly what Angela asked you know, just now, but I will have all the answers for you as we go, go further. Right, so I am the president and CEO of the IB Launch Company. We are an innovative organization focusing on the AI, data engineering, and also focusing on the all your infrastructure solutions tailored to meet your needs. And our basic mission is to support your mission. So we want to align our mission with you. And this first slide kind of gives it away. What do we do? What kind of services we are offering? What is a product? And what can you ask us to do right away right now without any hesitation? So first one, in terms of the services, we are offering data engineering, data security, and the secured AI chatbot services for you, for your organization. And that we have the access to majority of the software and hardware products and licenses through the major distributors in the area. So I realized that, that as a company, we are, easy, we are able to provide that to you at a very uh, competitive pricing. So that's one we added recently. And our own product is a no-code AI platform, which is a predictive analytics tool in which the no-code or low-code folks, business folks, can drop their data into it and begin their AI journey at a much much cheaper cost than the Tableau or the any other any other product in the market would offer. So that's our you know, product niche. And as I was saying, what can you ask us to do right away? The so first is feasibility study, because everybody is talking about AI, and everybody wants to do something with the AI. So we are the experts. We can come in and help you get started in a journey. You do that feasibility study. And this can be a simply a micro-purchase. So you, know, you don't have to spend a whole lot to get your feasibility studies done. done. So that can be a quick get start, you know, getting started with us. Second is the pilot program. So 90-day pilot program, you give us an opportunity 30 to 90 day based on what we need to accomplish. So we give you a concrete proof of concept saying that, okay, oh, this is what can be done. And then, you know, this up, if it is approved, then we take it to the next step, however, you know, we want to do it. So that's, that's our quick uh, summary. And the next few slides are going to talk about more elaboration on all this, okay? So we don't exist without team. So I picked up from KDM Associate, the team approach to your success. So without team, we don't exist. So we, in all these different categories, the AI transformation, digital transformation, workflow transformation, and complete infrastructure solutions, so we have teaming partners in place. So for example, for no-code AI platform, that tool is there. For edge AI and reinforcement learning, prescriptive learning, all those things we come bring to the table with the experts who have the patented, you know, to, uh, uh, patented, codes, patented uh, algorithms in the marketplace, so we bring that to the table, okay? And then I'm going to speed up here because I know their time is passing by, but one thing I want to point Two out minutes. is strategic staffing is another one which can help, you know, quickly ramp up things. <clears throat> so we believe in 4T value approach, team, tools, training, talent, oops, let's go to the next slide here, team, tool, training, talent, and then this is our partner network. So this is few companies just mentioned there. So some of them are AI company, and our ANCs, DOD work somebody's doing, workflow transformation somebody's doing, somebody's doing the digital uh, data security as well. So this, these are, uh, you know, diagram looks good, so I say kept it to six, but there are more than 15, we have partner network. And we are also very proud to be part of the SBA Thrive program. Uh, going to the next one. So this is SBA made a major investment in us, so we thank you SBA for that. And they are training us to be the future leaders, so thank you. And then we are also equipped with the DCA compliant system to make sure that all the finance, payroll, and order procurement, all other things that goes behind the scene as infrastructure that we are all set for that. And now I just, I don't know if Ron is here or not, but I wanted to, I hope he won't mind taking this as an example. He already knows all of this, but I wanted to bring to your attention, before this I had several other slides on the SBA scorecard, all that, I removed all that after listening to Shalaya, essentially that the, the only point I want to mention here is that the hub zone subcontracting piece, you know, that can be improved. So we are ready, you know, we are prepared and ready to help you with that. And as you can see, a lot of the red marks here, but I'll skip all that. If you can see the line number 26, the number with the 26, there was hub zone set aside for uh, $3.6 million only in all the hundreds of billions which were spent. So just to point out, I don't have to say that, but you know all this, but I'm just, you know, pointing uh, one point out of that. So these are some of the DOE opportunities we are tracking. We have similar, uh, we have similar 
uh, spreadsheet for a few other agencies we are tracking. So these are like a quick delivery. You need a license, hey, we can deliver it. You know, ask to be can tell us that, hey, this agency right here, or this department needs this, can you deliver it? And we can quickly deliver it. We did that for Treasury, by the way, recently. Now, these are the closing questions from me. Like, you know, I know the everybody exists to make the, you know, the bring the economic prosperity for everybody, right? So that's the government job, essentially. And I believe the hub zone is one of the best vehicle to do that. And the reason, because we, time is up. Okay, thank you. So sorry to have to be a stickler for time. I, I've apologized all week, but I, I really, I'm gonna let Dr. Fortson start. Uh, she has two minutes. She's familiar with the format uh, to give her. I'm just gonna pass on my two minutes. No, you gonna pass? Yeah. Okay, all right. So do I get four? No. no, no <laughs> <laughs> See, now Kiva's being a stickler. <laughs> go go I, with Ms. Well, Slay. I, I, I will say, so your company, I mean, there's a possibility that we could purchase one of our agencies could be a buying agency um, for this type of technology. So the option is open because of what you're providing. It's just finding that agency that need that particular technology at this point in time in 2024 and going forward. That's going to be the key. So what you provide is, <laughs> is something that our agency may need you know, may or may not need. So we just need to connect you with those small bit specialists. I have our procurement forecast, which is, you know, it is a forecast. Um, but I also recommend going on USA spending, looking at some of those contracts that may be already operating this, in this area that have a two or three window gap that's still available. See if you can do it, you know, a, a uh, subcontract with them. But that's, re I mean, we've already, yeah. we've already spoken. We, you've already connected with uh, some of our agencies. Um, I will say that one of the things that Ozibu is looking for is people that attend these types of events, how can we track their progress if they apply for program? Because that doesn't exist anywhere in the government. Nowhere in wait, the government. Wait, wait so what people that attend mean? outreach Tracking. events, okay. how can we track those, their progress? Mm -hmm. How can we track if Thank we apply you. for a contract? How can we apply? It's because we know there's, there's nothing like that in the government at all. Mm -hmm. So we are looking for something like TDP? that. She gave back a minute. Can I? Can I? She actually gave back 20 Did seconds. It? Go oh. ahead. I'm restarting you. Gosh, <laughs> you in this time. <laughs> so that is an area of mm -hmm. ROI that we all suffer from. Yep. We cannot prove that all of this outreach that we do adds up to wow. value, right? It's, it, there's a real need. The other parts of this, with government folks, sometimes we will have no idea what you're talking about. Be ready to explain it in, don't mansplain it. Do not mansplain it. But give me an example of what you can actually do for us. Mm -hmm. That would be really helpful. My only other question is, can anything in your system detect AI has infiltrated our system? We have done the use case for it. Okay. So we could be able to do a pilot and expand on that. Okay. Yeah. Be prepared. When you're starting to deal with technology in the government, it's very, very expensive to hold certain licenses. Mm -hmm. Take your own risk assessment. Some of the things that we require because we handle nuclear weapons will cost you $65,000 a year for a license and you may not get a contract. These are real things to consider. This is not something that I can remove. There's a safety protocol for it. So. Just be mindful of that as you start to work with government. You may need a partner to cover that cost for you if they already have it working with them. Uh, calculated risk. Awesome, and thank one you. One more thing, tailor your pitch when you talk to these agencies to that agency. Yeah. Yeah. So if you're talking to Agriculture Research Service, you want to know the mission of Agriculture Research Service right. and what they're trying to accomplish. And that's how you want to say, because what you're trying to do is help us do our job better. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. No, thank you. Tyra Reedus is from the Department of Transportation. You heard from her earlier. Uh, so my colleagues, again, are pulling um, the words right out of my head. Um, so I was going to say make sure that um, you're tailoring what you're selling or what you're mm -hmm. offering to the mission of the agency. <laughs> so understanding what, what, is, what do I know transportation needs right now mm -hmm. and, and how can my product or service help them. Um, number two, something um, that I always offer to um, small businesses who are trying to get into IT in particular with transportation, 
Um, what we found that works somewhat effectively, we haven't quite figured it all out, but past performance is a thing. And particularly with our agency, I'll be very transparent. We have incumbents that have been there for years mm -hmm. and they stay. Um, one of the best ways to get in the door is to team or partner mm -hmm. with an incumbent because then you assume all that past performance. Yeah. And then when it comes time for that incumbent to move on to something else, yeah. you can inherit that work and then you become the incumbent. So um, we've exchanged information, so I'd love for us mm -hmm. to continue to connect because um, I want to make sure that I get you in our databases and our platform so you can start to make those connections to some of the firms that we already work with. Awesome. And again, Thank you. that's consistent with all of these federal departments and agencies. Yeah. That subcontracting is key. Awesome. Ms. Pete? Mr. Moore? So the good news again, um, IB Launch is a MBDA Federal Procurement Center client, an IAEOZ sponsor. And I tell you, it was at the National Hub Zone Council when I had an administrative need that his CIO skill sets took over, and we bonded since then. I mean, he took my stuff, he looked at the computer, he looked at the other person's computer, and that's what he does as a small business. We've also helped him. Uh, he was decertified from the Hub Zone program um, rather erroneously, and now he's back on his Hub Zone track. Thank you. And uh, he is a great client that's going to scale. He's already teamed up with a few of our clients in, in the strategic teaming. So. Compliments. Great marketing. Yes. Very seamless, clean. Kudos to you. I don't know who did it or if you did it yourself. Very great job. Awesome. Yeah. Thank you so much. That's very, very nice to hear. And thank you so much all for all of your coaching, compliment. And I'd like to just close with this, that our goal, our mission one, this one year. One moment. Uh, let me check for the, on the line. Um, Demetria Gallagher, are you back on the line? Yeah, I'm here. Okay, um, you actually have two minutes as well to provide feedback. I know you will have some challenges getting back in. If you heard the presentation and have feedback, uh, you have two minutes. Yes, no, I definitely uh, heard it, and a lot of things resonates with me with a lot of the, of the, the panelists, um, their feedback they gave. The one thing that I do want to comment on is about the importance of documents that are left behind when speaking with partners or federal agencies. Um, I know somebody commented on the marketing. I don't have it in hand, of course, but I think that's very important. A lot, of, a lot of times, folks that we talk to become our biggest advocate when talking to other people. So just making sure that any documents you have are concise, crisp, and that they speak on their own when you're not in the room. I think that's very important because we are all advocates and we speak so much for um, other businesses. We have to be cognizant of the documents that we provide that actually showcases the, like, the mission of the business. Very excellent feedback. Um, we will have a very tight schedule if you um, want to have 30 seconds to close out with some remarks. No, thank you so much, Angela, and thank you for the uh, no person who gave the remarks on, online as well, and all of the judges, coaches, very much appreciated. I know you are here for a mission to help us and uh, make a positive impact in the overall society. So our goal this year, as a small 8A HubZone company, we want to make an impact on 100 plus families this year. So what that means translates into hiring 100 plus full-time employees from the HubZone and up zone areas and the hiring the military spouses. So we, we right now do that. We are hiring somebody who is working for us is 76 plus old. Okay, and then somebody who's working for us is a military spouse. So this is a micro organism what we want to increase. So help us achieve that. Thank you so much for your help, appreciate it.